Hello. Uh, this instruction is prompted by question or rather questions uh, with regards to previously published instruction Lollipop. Previously we have made a relatively small size sculpture Lollipop and today we're going to make larger size sculpture. We are going to use two 60s balloons, air pump, scissors, couple heavy books, rubber cement or rubber glue. Well, I don't have it here, so I'm going to use clear sticky tape. Also, we're going to use clear plastic wrap. Here I have a box of clear plastic foot wrap. The brand really doesn't matter. What is important is uh, the size. The wider uh, wrap, the better for large size sculptures. We will put our sculpture on a flat surface. You can use the appropriate size uh, table or just work right on the floor. Alright, uh, get everything ready and let's start with one balloon lollipop. Fully inflate one balloon. We can work the lollipop sculpture starting from either end of the balloon. We're going to work our sculpture in the same fashion as we did a shell of snail in previously published instruction snail. I like to start from nozzle. Fold balloon couple inch away from the nozzle. Roll or fold the balloon around the nozzle, the center part of the spiral or circle. Working this way to the end of the balloon. That's it. Both sides of the sculpture look the same. Let's place the sculpture on a table. It would be very nice to have couple spare hands to hold your sculpture. I don't have any spare hands or any assistance around at this moment, so I'm gonna place heavy book on top of the sculpture. It prevents balloon from untwisting. If you let the balloon loose, for example, like that, accidentally, you will have to work the sculpture from very beginning. Wasted time, so try to work um, carefully. Prepare everything that you need to make the sculpture, like sticky tape, books, table, everything have to be prepared in advance. So, here we are again. If you have rubber cement, uh, you just put a couple drops here and there. Then put some heavy book on top of the sculpture and let it dry. Again, in this example, I don't have rubber cement. So, I'm going to use clear sticky tape instead of rubber cement. Just tape the sculpture across. Make sure to tape the end of the balloon. We can tape both sides of the sculpture. I rather put the tape on one side of the sculpture. It will be the back side. Now I need scissors to cut off the tape. Basically we have made one balloon sculpture. Lollipop, wheel, frisbee, snail. Ok. Um, one piece of tape holds uh, one balloon sculpture pretty well. And the tape is uh, hardly visible on the sculpture. Well, uh, the tape could be visible less or more. It all depends on lightning conditions quality of the tape, uh, color of the balloons. Anyway, the tape is totally invisible on the front side of the sculpture. <laughs> because we didn't put any tape on the front side of the sculpture. Let's use another piece of tape. Again, let's put it across the sculpture to make letter X. Alright, let's take a closer look on our sculpture. Here's a side view. That's a um, back view. I didn't press the clear tape all the way down to the balloon between the bubbles. So you should see it better. And that's the front view. Let's make one more sculpture in the same way. This time I want to use clear plastic foot wrap uh, to fix the sculpture in this round shape. I have already secured the sculpture with clear sticky tape on the back side of the sculpture. Measure the size of plastic wrap. It should be long enough to wrap the sculpture all the way around the sculpture. With at least one or two inch extra length to overlap the wrap. It is better to hide overlapping pieces of wrap on the back side of the sculpture with the sticky tape. And that's why you have to pay attention how you place the sculpture. In this example I put the sculpture face up. So uh, the overlapping pieces will be uh, visible on the face side. Let's turn it upside down. Here's the tape. You can see it, right? It is the back side of our sculpture. 
basically we wrap our sculpture in the same way as uh, you would do sandwich. Sure, you have to work more gentle with balloons, <laughs> and we don't have to put uh, our sculpture in lunch box. Keep working around the sculpture to make sure it's wrapped properly everywhere. Congratulations again! We have made the sculpture. We can use the sculpture as it is to represent different objects. For example, lollipop, wheel, frisbee, um, snail, and so on. And it is uh, quite safe to play this frisbee indoor. To make the sculpture look more like a lollipop, we have to attach stick to the balloon. Uh, for this size uh, lollipop, we can use any appropriate size stick. Uh, for example, uh, pen, pencil. Uh, I'm going to use a drinking straw in this example. It is a regular plastic straw, as you can see. Uh, I'm going to attach it at the back side of uh, our sculpture using a clear sticky tape. Of course, for larger size lollipops, we will have to use uh, larger size uh, sticks. Congratulations again! We have made one balloon lollipop. To make larger size uh, sculptures lollipops, we have to connect number of balloons in one long tube. We can connect balloons in one long tube in different ways. The fastest way is uh, simply tie the ends of balloons. To make it easy, you have to inflate balloons leaving up to half an inch flat tail. And then we tie the nozzle of one balloon with uh, a flat tail of the other balloon. Use scissors to trim off the ends. Again, it is uh, probably the simplest and the fastest way to connect any number of balloons in one long tube. Let's try another way to make long balloon tubes. Inflate balloons leaving up to one inch flat tail. Twist a chain of the first two soft about one inch bubbles. Lock all ends of the first two bubbles in one lock twist. Prepare as many balloons as you need. Work all of them in the same fashion. In this example, I'm going to use just two balloons. But again, you can use any number of balloons. Work them in the same fashion. Once you prepare all balloons, uh, you can start connecting them one by one. It is very simple. We lock flat tail of one balloon between small bubbles of the other balloon. Work in this fashion to make any size long tube. Connect as many balloons as you want. And uh, we can connect ends of the tube to make circle. Also, I want to show you another way to connect balloons in one long tube. This time we're going to connect balloons using tulip twist. We have already discussed uh, how to make tulip twist in a couple of previously published instructions. If you need help to make uh, tulip twist, on my website viewdoit.com you can find links to instruction tulip twist, indestructible bubble. Actually, there are many more sculptures that we used to make this tulip twist. All right. Uh, you know what? In this example, I'm going to use three balloons. So, we are going to make three balloons long tube. And we will make circle. Making tulip twist uh, could be a bit of a challenge for beginners. It takes little practice to master tulip twist. Tulip twist is uh, often very useful and um, it looks great. Using tulip twist to connect uh, many balloons could create only one problem, in my opinion. Well, at least it created for me quite often. The thing is, uh, balloons pop and um, it could be very time consuming and uh, quite hard to replace popped balloon connected uh, with tulip twist. Well, it is my personal opinion. Consider it. Here we have made three balloon circle. And uh, as you can see, the previously described way to connect balloons uh, looks uh, pretty much the same as tulip twist. It is my preferable way to connect balloons in long tube. Now I'm going to use two balloons long tube to make wheel. We fold the balloon starting from the end with two small bubbles. The bubbles gonna be the center of the wheel. These two bubbles at the center of the wheel make it very easy for us 
to attach the sculpture later to any large sculpture like a car or bike, maybe some other sculptures. Working sculpture with more than one balloon long tube is much harder. So we have to use flat surface of table or floor. As you can see, we work this sculpture basically in the same way, the same fashion as we did previously the small one balloon lollipop. And of course, with uh, larger size sculptures, you probably want to use uh, two or more pieces of uh, clear sticky tape to secure the sculpture. Okay, we have made this sculpture. Here you can see the difference in the size of sculptures. We can attach the stick to make it look like a lollipop in the same way as we did previously. Today I'm not going to make car. We don't have time for that. But we still can attach wheels. Inflate balloon leaving about one inch flat tail. Lock the nozzle of the balloon at the center of the wheel. And then we tie the flat tail of the gray balloon, the bar balloon, uh, at the center of the second wheel. In this example I use one balloon to make each wheel. And as you may notice, uh, there is no small bubbles at the center of uh, the wheel. It makes harder to fix wheels in proper positions. So you probably want to use small bubbles at the center of the wheel. Congratulations, we have made a pair of wheels for our future car. Meantime, we can use this sculpture to make lollipop hat or crazy monster's eyes hat. We can attach two or more different size wheels at each side of the bar. This sculpture is um, for those of us who like to do heavy lifting exercise. Yeah, clowns, I'm talking about you. We can put different size wheels in different order. To attach two or more wheels together, we simply have to pull the nozzle of one balloon through the center of uh, each wheel. In this example, uh, the large wheel has two small bubbles at the center. So it should be easier to keep the wheels in proper positions. In the same fashion, we attach wheels on the other side of the lifting bar. You may want to choose different color balloons for making heavy lifting equipment. Congratulations! We have made very heavy lifting bar. Remember to do warm-ups exercise before you start lifting this heavy weight. In the following example, we're going to use six balloons to make large size lollipop. In this example, I use six rainbow colors, inflate yellow balloon all the way, and the other five balloons uh, we make with two small bubbles at the nozzle end of the balloon. Lock the nozzle of the yellow balloon between small orange bubbles. Lock the flat end of the orange balloon between small red bubbles. Attach all other balloons working in the same fashion. As you can see in this example, uh, we're making a really long tube. It is really important to have a proper space, um, adequate uh, flat surface to work on uh, these large size sculptures. All right, so here we have made six balloons long tube. Okay, let me try to put it on a table so you can see it all. Now, let me move the table away. Here we are. We can work our sculpture starting from either end of the tube. I want to start from the yellow end of the tube. As uh, the size of our lollipop gets bigger, uh, we have to use uh, books, two or maybe three books, to keep uh, balloons from untwisting. And again, I'm going to use clear sticky tape to secure balloons in this uh, circle shape. I keep books on top of the sculpture uh, until I secure the sculpture with at least two pieces of clear sticky tape. Move the books as necessary to clear the space for the clear sticky tape. And that's all about it. As you can see, the work is done pretty much in the same fashion as it's uh, done with smaller size lollipops. Now it's time to wrap our sculpture. The sculpture is too big to fit on my table. So this time I have to stretch the foot wrap uh, right on the floor. Measure and cut off plastic wrap piece 
It should be long enough to cover both sides of our sculpture all the way around. In this example I actually have to cut off three pieces of uh, plastic wrap. Make sure all pieces overlap each other. Put the sculpture in the middle. Back side is up. Wrap the sculpture nicely. We can use scissors to cut off excess of uh, plastic wrap. Or just hide it on the back side of our sculpture. Congratulations! We have made it! In this example I'm gonna use another balloon to make the stick for lollipop. In the same way as we did previously with lollipop I'm going to attach the stick on the back side of the lollipop using clear sticky tape. Again congratulations! We have made large size lollipop. Now let's take a quick look on what we have done today. We did different size lollipops. We have made wheels. Uh, pair of wheels and we made heavy lifting bar. Here uh, our different size lollipops. We can use a pair of wheels on a bar to make simple lollipop hat. And there is someone already begging for this hat or umbrella hat. We can fix the wheels to represent monster's eyes. And so on. Have fun and happy twisting.